Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and deploy terms and conditions in Microsoft Intune. We can use an Intune terms and conditions policy to present relevant disclaimers for legal or compliance requirements to device users. We can deploy Intune terms and conditions to user groups to explain how enrollment, access to work resources, and the company portal app affect devices and users. Users must accept the terms and conditions before they can use the company portal to enroll or access their work. We can create and deploy multiple policies containing different terms and conditions. When we update the terms and conditions significantly and want users to see and accept them, we can mark the new terms and conditions as a new version and users will go through the same process the next time they visit the company portal application. Remember, terms and conditions apply to users, not the devices. So users will only have to accept each version once to visit the company portal from any of their devices. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center with sufficient permission. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com On home page, click on Tenant Administration. Click on Terms and Conditions. At this moment, we don't have any terms and conditions created in our Intune. Click on Create. On the Basics page, give your policy a name so that you can recognize it later. Device users don't see this name. We have given name MSF Terms and Conditions version 1. Optionally, describe the purpose or intended use of this specific set of terms. We have added description. This is a test policy to apply terms and conditions on our users. Click on Next. On the Terms page, provide the information about title, terms and conditions, and summary of terms. Title will display the name of our terms. Users can see the title in the Company Portal app. Let me add a title here. Next, we have Terms and Conditions, which display the terms and conditions that users see and must either accept or reject. Let me enter the terms and conditions. Here I have added two terms and conditions. Next, we have summary of terms. In summary of terms, we can enter a brief high-level explanation of what the user is agreeing to. This text is visible to device users. Here, I have added summary of the terms as well. You can add title, terms and conditions, and summary of terms as per your organization's requirement. Let me click on Next. On the Assignments page, choose whom you want to assign the terms and conditions policy. Either you can target all users or you can select a specific group of users. Choose Add All Users option to assign these terms and conditions to all device users. Choose Add Groups option to assign these terms and conditions to selected group of users. Here, I'm going to click on Add All Users. Click Next. Review the summary of our new terms and conditions and then select Create. A notification will automatically appear 
terms and conditions successfully created and assigned. We can see name is there and assigned status is yes. Now targeted users can see the terms and conditions in the Intune Company Portal app. To test this, let's go to Windows 10 device. First, we will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on sync to initiate the manual sync with Intune. Okay, last sync was successful. Let's open company portal application. Uh, let me maximize it. This is how the terms and conditions set by our organization will look in company portal app. Device users tap read terms to expand the terms and conditions to full view. Click on read terms. This is the points which we have specified during creation of terms and conditions policy. We have added total two points. So from here, user can read terms and conditions. Let me go back. Now, users must accept the terms and conditions before they can use company portal app to enroll or access their work. So let's click on accept to accept the terms and conditions applied by our organization. Let me click on it. And that's it. Now a user can access company portal app successfully. And from this user can access our resources. We can also monitor acceptance of terms and conditions from Intune portal. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. But before that, let me initiate manual sync with Intune. Okay, sync was successful. Let's go back to Intune portal. We are on terms and conditions page. Click on our terms and conditions policy. On the monitor, click on acceptance reporting. Here we can see the username who has accepted the terms. We can also see the information about timestamp and version. If required, we can also export the report. In our case, we don't have any information under acceptance reporting. The information will take some time to update in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. That concludes the video on how to create and deploy terms and conditions in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.